Hey everyone, this is Snipe God, and today I'm back with my updated and draw guide on skills. So first off, to access the skills menu, the default key binding is Y. So clicking Y will teleport you to the central skill area, which has a few different main trees. Over here we've got the uh, Sinistrope, Thaumaturge, and Elementalist. Elementalist is going to be more for Mage, and then similar with the Thaumaturge and Sinistrope. So the base here is Focus, which is Mage Disciplines. So this one here, the blue, is going to be for your Mage skills. I don't have anything unlocked on this tree at the moment besides focus which allows me to regenerate my mana faster currently at tier 2 next we've got the phasma list which is for summoning and interacting with souls the main reason for taking this is arcane smith which is just for improving your it allows you to improve your enchanted uh, gear so other than that, this is, um, I don't have, I haven't checked out what talismans do yet, so this I'll have to come back to at another point once I've looked up more on uh, the talismans. But this tree here, Phasmalist is mainly for summoning apparitions with. Next we have the Tempest Tree, which is for warrior disciplines. This is going to be for the more traditional melee style. I have a bunch of stuff unlocked in this, like blocking is more efficient. Uh, arrow wall, arrows you intercept with your shield won't do any damage from now on, so you permanently block all arrows and they don't deal damage. Uh, Tower of Strength damage reduction. I have this at tier 1, which is 75% damage reduction for 6 seconds. I can unlock more with more memory points. I'm not very far in. I'm only like level 30, so I'll probably, if I do decide to keep playing this game, I'll update this as I get to higher levels. And then you've got Blade Dancer stances on the right hand side, so this is more for offense. The middle tree is more your defensive abilities and then the left side is for two-handed weapons keep in mind the right side blade dancer is for one-handed weapons or dual wielding so the middle is your defensive tree the right side of the tempest is for one-handed and dual wielding weapons and then the left side of the tempest tree is for two-handed weapons and finally, we have the Assassination Tree, which is for the Rogue Disciplines. We have the Middle Tree, which here is for Light Armor. I don't really have anything unlocked in this. Then we have the Right Side, which is for Archery. Um, this is also for, you'll need this for your lock picking. So this is an important tree to unlock if you want to like unlock everything in the game. You'll need this for um, unlocking. And then the left side here is for critical hit damage, as well as some abilities such as roll, or allows you to sell stolen goods to every vendor instead of just having to use fences. So the left side will be your, here will be your, uh, Sorry, it's like 1 a.m. when I'm recording this, so I'm a little out of it. Uh, left side is uh, sneak damage. The middle tree is light armor, and the right side is for locks as well as archery. So the green tree, the assassination, is light armor, bows, and sneaky as well as lockpicking. 
The Tempest Tree is for heavy armor and blocking, as well as two-handed weapons, and then dual wielding and one-handed weapons. And then the Focus Tree is for any type of magic based. So if we take a look for Sinistrope starts out with, uh, looks like this is more for summoning and psionic spells. I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, Thaumaturge, enchantments, as well as light spells, and armor spells are increased. And then the left side here, Elemental Apprentice, is for your elemental spells. And then the Phasmalist tree here is for summoning operations, as well as enchantments, and making talismans. And once again, this menu is brought up using the Y key. So we'll take a look at some of the skills that I have currently, and I'll show you them in demonstration. So for example, if we go to my tree, I have, um, I can't really show you assassination, but this one is the start of the assassination tree. You move more silently for a short period of time and receive an additional 7% critical hit chance. That's not really something I can show. Uh, call operation, I don't think I have an operation yet. No, I don't have one, so I can't show that either. Uh, do I have a bow on me? I do. So the other skill I have here currently is fire arrows. If I use this skill, I get equipped fire arrows. There we go, that's just a brief example of that. Uh, next is flash powder. I'll see if I can find an enemy around here. I have no clue where I am right now. I just loaded in after reinstalling, so. So I use flash powder. He's lost on where I am, and then I can just go crouch, and I'm gone. Uh, next, I have focus. So if we take a look, like. My spells right now, I'll use this. Just lowers the cost. Like, this was 17 previously, now it's down to 12. Now we wait for cooldown. Nope, because right, I can. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go back to the enemy we blinded and show you this. Uh, Iron Maiden. All melee damage I take is reflected, so I'll use this. And you can see that all the damage I'm taking is also getting reflected back on him. It's a little more damage than I would have liked. Uh, meditation. This will also teleport you back to the skills menu. If you don't have the key binding memorized, you can always just go into your spell book and cast meditation to take you there. Uh, next we have Net of Soul, allows you to see souls. I uh, don't know if I have an example for this. I don't think there's any around here, so it's not really going to work. Uh, next we have Kyrian Stance, so you can see with this. Um, I'm going to move a little faster. As well as you can see my attack speed. And then if I use it again, you can see my attack speed goes. Uh, give me one sec, I might actually die here. Okay, I'm gonna quick load to before. I'll do this fight. Actually, I'll show you the other 
one of the other abilities while I'm fighting this. Rock solid. Uh, use it. And my damage taken. You can see that he's barely dealing any damage to me now. Uh, Kyrian stance. So if I use this, you can see... Oh, actually it ended, so I had it on already. You can see my current attack speed. And then if I throw it back on... This is not noticeably faster, but you can see... Um, I am attacking slightly faster. And then finally, Tempest. I don't know if I have a way to show this, but damage for my mace currently is 68. I slap Tempest on. Oh, it does. It goes up to 74. 68, 74. Let me grab a calculator. 74 minus 68. 68 divided by 74. So it's about 9% damage increase for this specific weapon. Uh, I'm not sure if that's scaling for all weapons. I'd have to check. So, 68. So that's 27. 30. Uh, so it looks like it's between... A re it's around 90%, not a constant variable because yeah so 27 to 30 is a 90 percent of the value so that's 10 percent and the other one's 9.9 so i know my last guide was a little more in depth but this should hopefully cover the basics of the Enderall skills. As well as some examples of what I have. Like I don't have everything unlocked, of course. So I can't show you everything. This is just the current build I'm using. As well as what each general tree is used for in the purpose. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully this audio quality is workable and thank you to the people who pointed out that the uh audio quality and discord notifications were getting in the way on the previous video and sorry it took me so long to re-upload this thanks everyone